You're watching From the Heart with John Willard. Hi, friends. John Willard here. I have another great show for you today. And if you haven't already subscribed to our CNA TV, I'd appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button down below. My opening thought. Before you put someone in their place, you should put yourself in theirs. How often I think back over time. Time that has passed into the river of no return. I move slower now. The oil of my youth is drying up. I know all the old tales, the faces long gone that I miss, loved ones that lived, dreamed of justice and knew injustice, that saw unworthy men rewarded and good men ignored. These Ozarks back roads are a trip back in time. Since I can remember, I was out in the field. Oh, the memories and stories I've gained. It's a slower, sweeter life, and I adore it. Friends, I did not grow up gentle or much enlightened. It took me a while to get it, but it came to me. I don't need a statue to know love. I can feel it in my heart. I don't talk much about politics or news. My poems and quotes are in their own way a refuge I recognize evil when I see it. I believe I hear the best of who we are in these poems and quotes. General William Booth of the Salvation Army spent his life in unselfish service. Once he was asked to send a message to his helpers around the world, over the cable, he sent one word, others. We all have a philosophy in life. Does it end in self? Or does it include our duty to others? Arlen Williams was a passenger aboard Flight 90 that crashed in Washington, D.C. Arlen was one of six initial survivors that ended up in the icy waters of the Potomac River. Mm -mm. You hear the whirl of the rescue helicopter. Down comes the lifeline ladder. Arlen is this close to saving his life. And Arlen hands the lifeline over to another. After that person is rescued, you hear the whirl of the rescue helicopter again. And again, down comes the lifeline ladder. And again, Arlen is this close to saving his life. And again, Arlen hands the lifeline over to another. This plays out four more times. And four more times, Arlen hands the lifeline over to others. Not to his wife, not to his daughter, but to strangers. After those four are rescued, 
and the helicopter comes back for Arlen, he has succumbed to fatigue and drowned. My closing thought, every person is entitled to be valued by their best moments. Many things will catch your eye, but only a few will catch your heart. Pursue those. You can reach me on Twitter at John Willard 47. Until next time, friends, this is John Willard from the farm.